Greetings, Lux lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Typically, here we appreciate luxury through the lens of practicality, but other times we just throw all rational thought out the window and buy bags, like today. Before we start, my bag of the day is my Chanel mini rectangular in the caramel color. And the necklace I'm wearing today is actually my single sweet Alhambra rose gold uh, motif. And it's because when it gets so hot outside, I don't want the double strand around my neck. For the past few months, I've been on a quest to find the best summer bag. And based on the thumbnail, you know that I finally purchased what I think is the ultimate summer bag for me. But as a warning, I ordered it sight unseen. So we'll unbox it together and get my first true impression. And before I unbox this new baby, I wanted to pay homage to all of the bags that I considered and take you all on the journey of the honorable mentions and how I use my luxury purchasing decision criteria to evaluate each bag in case this is helpful for anyone also searching for a great summer bag. I've put timestamps below in case you'd like to skip straight to the unboxing. But for my hardcore handbag lovers out there, I'll start with a little story time. So let's begin. I guess it all started in February when I tried on the Celine Triumph teen size bags in the color Braun. But the price just seemed so high for a playful kind of bag at around $4,000. I couldn't move myself to make that purchase, so instead I just bought some accessories that had the gold Triumph logo, and it seemed to make me happy. And then I do want to address that in March, I did actually purchase a white bag with gold hardware from Hermes, and that was my In The Loop 18 bag in baton with gold hardware. And I told myself then that this would be a great summer bag. But I think my heart was yearning for something a little less formal, a little less high maintenance, and more carefree. And so I kept on looking. Then in May, we got the Louis Vuitton Monoglam launch and I tried on the Loop PM bag and the Nano Speedy. And I really loved that beige gold color, but the whole shiny material just seemed way too trendy for me and out of character given my love of understated aesthetic. I didn't know if I would ever really feel comfortable carrying that one in public, but I also learned that I really can't get over the bright red glazing that's on the traditional Vaquetta on Louis Vuitton bags. I tend to go for their pieces that have either brown or black handles as seen on things like my Palm Springs mini backpack. To me, there's just something about the bright red ones that are a little too glaring for me. Also in June, I did my walkthrough of my local Brunello Cuccinelli store and discovered the bucket bag in Raffia. And I was really tempted by that bag. I also discovered that that brand goes on discount though sometimes such as places like Neiman Marcus. So I went from like 1900 down to like 1200 or so, but I still couldn't pull the trigger on it. I think with the passage of time, the idea of that monolith detail just didn't matter to me. And even I was a little too bored by the look of that bag. And that's saying something, cause I'm basic AF. Then going back to Louis Vuitton, I finally tried on the Pochette Matisse East West in the Empreinte Leather in the cream color. And I was really completely smitten by that one. It's super versatile, understated with a little bit of logo. And also the glazing is a dark brown and not red. So that was even better for me. This bag checked so many of the boxes, but I had literally just bought a cream white leather bag. And the thought of leather in the hot summer months was like a little too heavy for me. So I kept on looking. Then I saw Celine came out with a wicker teen basas bag, thanks to a video by Connor, of the closet by Connor. And while I initially totally fell in love with it, the price was exorbitant. It was sold out everywhere. And it started to remind me of a fly fisherman's basket bag. And I quickly got over it. Then in July, I noticed this lesser known design by Max Mara, a brand I love called the Marine bag. And they had a Marine straw tote in beige on a great discount. I might add, they also had a plastic one in a Bordeaux red, which I really contemplated using as a pool bag. And while I couldn't find the straw one to try on in person, I was able to try on the mesh plastic marine bag seen here. You can see it was a bit big on my frame and it actually reminded me of the Chanel Deauville size tote. So I passed on these options, but I'm actually keeping the door open for this size in general because I think it's a really beautiful classy bag. And I also know that they make a mini version, which would probably suit my frame a little more. So I'll keep an eye out and see what kind of materials they come out with in that bag in the future. Some other bags I started looking at were things like the Loewe mini gate bag, the Celine big bag tote in Raffia, the new Bottega Veneta fortune cookie looking bag, the Chanel beige Deauville tote one. Now that was beautiful, but I had just bought a Chanel Deauville tote. This was getting exhausting. 
and I had nearly given up at this point. And then I went to Fendi. Fendi, Fendi, Fendi. I admit I was 100% influenced by Dale of Dale's Addiction and the whole Aussie crew in the land down under. Hi guys! Dale is so passionate about Fendi and this is the brand that I had not looked at in years. So I went perusing their website one evening and I saw some great summer bags that I just needed to go in and try on in store. The recent astrology collection had some very summery bags as part of the launch. So I'll insert some shots here of me trying on the mid-size baguette in natural straw and also the mantra soar in natural straw. These were so good and I love the look. But the mid-size baguette was a little too big on my frame and also the strap was a little too thick for my liking. And the Montresor was kind of interesting because the base is kind of round. So it just like pops out on my hip and it just juts out a little too much. But it's also interesting to note that the straw handle looks really stiff online, but it's actually quite soft and malleable once you have it. So in case you're wondering about that one, you know, it's a great pick as well. So then I went home and I saw this baby online and we're gonna open it up together. So here we go. Like I said, this is my first time seeing her. Also, I'm pretty sure this is my first Fendi purchase ever. So this is a first for us all. Here we go. It has this beautiful yellow box. It looks like it has like this watercolor deep striping or something and we open it up here's the little dust bag so we'll take it out of the box the nice little pillow that it lays on here we go it is my oh my gosh it's so cute it is my fendi mini baguette in the natural straw. O-M-G. This is so cute. I can't stand it. Oh my gosh. All right, so it has this strap that I will clip on to these little rings on the side. Again, I'm not a huge Fendi shopper, so I'm not as familiar with kind of the models and the makes, but I saw this and I thought it would be perfect. And the reason why I brought out my Chanel uh, mini is because I wanted to compare what it would look like. Now I did try on a mini in the store and, but it was like the, it was the typical Fendi mono, monogram in the canvas. They didn't have this straw. Oh, this is exceeding my expectations. Uh, you can probably hear on my voice that I think it is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this on and to give you guys the, the walkthrough. So things I'm noticing. I'm noticing this leather strap, which is this beautiful, gorgeous brown. Um, the straw actually feels extremely firm. So it's not like... Uh, so I don't feel like it's going to soft. It might soften, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to get slouchy or anything. It, it feels pretty stable. And it has the plastic on here, so I'll take that off later. It has this security tag, so that's nice. The gold hardware is to die for. And the, so the other mini as part of this collection was the denim one, super beautiful. But that was, I think, a very cool tone one, whereas this is more of that warm tone. And, and I really liked that gold detail. And here you can see the little Fendi on the straps. Let's open her up. So let me check out this, this magnet situation. All right, so there's magnets on both sides. It's nice. It's the kind of magnet that has the little post that goes in. And I like that it has this leather around it to kind of keep it secure. So it comes with some stuffing, almost like a little base shaper on the bottom. Looks like it comes with a three, a three card holder slot. And it just, it feels good, like, mm, not linen, and I know it says straw, but clearly it's more of a woven fabric. So my, I guess my closest approximation, this from what I know, I'm no expert, but 
It's almost like a very smooth, heavy thing, like burlap, but smooth because burlap is like rough. It has the little ID tag and it, you can see it's kind of like the perfect size for your essentials. It is just uh, stunning. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. This color is so good. So let's do a little comparison. So you can see that this is definitely more of a pink, I call it chocolate milk type of a brown. And this one is more of a, a more tanner uh, with the leather piping. And I'll do a quick transfer of what fits in my bag. But this is so cute and I cannot wait to stand up and show you some like mod shots and stuff. So as a quick what's in my bag, this is really what I usually have in my bag. And it's not a whole lot. I think I'm just missing my earbuds, which I usually put in the corner. But I have this phone holder, which is usually my phone. This is by Angie Crabtree, who is a artist who paints diamonds and gemstones. Really love her. I'll link her down below. But she has phone cases, which are really fun. Then I have my Chanel. Um, this was from the collection 19A, 19K, I forget. but. It was the Egypt, New York collection. This I use every single day since I bought it in 2019. I really only have this one card holder and it's the only one I'll need. And then I have my key pouch from Dress Up Your Purse. So if you're interested in this, uh, I have a discount code for 15% off below, but it's as functional as the Louis Vuitton ones and it has the, the inner hook and everything. I'm not sure if they have this color, it might be out of stock, but it's just such a good smushy leather. And it actually matches really well with my new bag, how cute is that? All right, so we're gonna open this up and see how these items fit into my, my new bag. We got the key holder, we got the phone, more importantly it fits, and we have my wallet. And I definitely think that my AirPods would fit in that little corner down there. So I would say this is a raving success. And the reason why I liked this type of um, straw rather than like the true raffia is because I was always worried that it would get wet. And, and I feel like if it gets wet, those raffia and straw bags are done. But this type of woven straw material I think is perfect because it's less, um, because I'd be less worried about getting it wet. And also I could probably even spray a little coating of a waterproofing thing. I don't know how it would work on the leather, but I am so in love with this. It is understated. It's in the neutral colors. It has the little pop of the Fs if you're like super up close. But if you're not, it just kind of blends in and looks like a nice straw bag. And with the Fs, yes, luxury lovers will definitely know that it's Fendi, but to anyone else, it just kind of looks like a nice geometric metal piece. So thank you so much for sticking me and seeing this video through. I'll plan on doing a follow on with a more in-depth review of mod shots, what fits, different ways to wear the bag, because I know it's pretty modular. And also a comparison with my Chanel mini rectangular once I get a little more time in with this bag. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out. And I'd also invite you to follow me on Instagram so you can see how I style this new baby in my day to day and other luxury moments. I'm gonna send you out with some mod shots of me trying on this bag and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.